What is going on everybody? Happy Taco Tuesday. Hey there live guapo, what's going on? Today we are making some vegetarian tacos with a Morning Star Farms Chipotle black bean crumbles and old El Paso lime heart taco shells. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a tablespoon of minced onion, I'm sorry, minced garlic and a whole white onion. Chop that up real nice. Heat up a skillet and add some oil to it. And we're gonna dump this in and we're gonna cook this for about three minutes or at least until the onions get nice and tender. And then we're gonna add so about a tablespoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of cumin and just swirl it around, get it nice and sweaty. All right, so once the onions have gotten soft, we're gonna add our crumbles from Morningstar and these are the Chipotle version. So we're gonna throw these out and see how they are. Get a little spicy. And we're gonna use about a little over half a bag Serves about two people. If I had to estimate, I would say this is about four tacos per person-ish. Uh, and then we're gonna heat these up and we're gonna, you know, break them down again more crumbly than the initial crumble of the crumbles in the crumbly crumbly bag. All right, so we're gonna heat these up so they're gonna be a little bit easier to smash down because right now they're still frozen and a little, little hard to do. All right, so once these bad boys have warmed up, you're gonna wanna season them. So we're gonna start it off with some adobo. Uh, we're gonna use about, uh, I'd say about a teaspoon-ish of adobo. What seasoning you know, you gotta eyeball it, depends on the person. Except for this, Sasson from Goya. Whole packet, pre-measured out, boom bang, bada boom. Here's the taco in the kitchen room. And then we're gonna add about, uh, about a tablespoon of onion powder. And this is really gonna sweeten up a bit from along with the raw onions. Then we're gonna use ground garlic. Uh, like I said, I found out recently that ground garlic and garlic powder are two different things. Really, gar garlic powder has like a mixture of other spices in it. Who fucking knew? And then we're gonna use about a tablespoon of tomato paste, tomato, a tomato paste, uh, just to kind of bind everything together. And then from here, we're gonna just uh, give it a little bit more of a little razzle dazzle with some sofrito. I don't make my own. That's not my thing, baby. So I just buy the bottle stuff. I'm sure to like real Hispanics, uh, this is like using canned tomato sauce for Italians. It's taboo, but I won't tell if you won't. And then we're gonna stir this all together, trying to get these flavor profiles mingled up. All right. Oh yeah, look at the colors coming out great. Yeah, one thing I gotta say about Morningstar meat substitutes, once you add like your own little razzle dazzle to them, the color is always enhanced, and it's pretty its pretty intense, but it's pretty delicious. All right, so we're gonna mix that up now, and then we're gonna give it some more uh, some more hydration. So we're gonna add a little bit of salsa to it. No, I'm saying, I'm sorry, salsa. And uh, it's about a quarter of a cup, so. Uh, and then we're gonna give it some spice, and we're gonna use a generic jalapeno hot sauce just to give it some flavor, and maybe like a tad bit of spice at the kick. So we're gonna mix this all together and we're gonna cook this on a medium low heat. We're gonna bring it down. Uh, we're gonna cook this for about five minutes. Just keep an eye on it and keep on stirring it just because it's already pre-cooked this uh, Morning Star blend. So you really just wanna you know, warm it up and have just enough heat for it to uh, really cook through and have all the flavors mingle together. So again, we're gonna cook this on five minutes for five minutes. All right, while this is cooking, I warmed up my hard shell taco in my air fryer. You can do it in the oven, microwave, whatever. Uh, I feel like if you put these on air fryer, FYI, for like four minutes on 320 degrees, they come out awesome. So we're going to load this bad boy up with the lime hard taco shell. Uh, so we'll give it a decent little filling. And then we're going to add some sour cream. Sour cream. Just a dollop. A dollop. Nah, just, it's a little bit more than a dollop. Give it a hefty amount, you know, throw it. Great. And then of course, guys, boom, taco blend cheese from ShopRite. You know what it is. Bangers are us over here. All right, we're gonna give them some nice little sprinkle sprinkle of a cheddar, not cheddar, a taco cheese blend. Oh, well, I guess there's cheddar in there, so. All right, thanks for wishing for guapo. I'll take it from here. All right, so we got the hard shell taco with the lime seasoning with our little uh, Morning Star Chipotle black bean crumble mix. And that we seasoned and made. So let's try that. Hot. Mm. That chili lime, hard shell taco. 
We're gonna mix as well with the spices. Bring everything together. It really cuts through the saltiness. I like the artificial taste of the, the actual bean spread. Whatever you call it, morning stars. And grounds. Pretty good. Then again, Morningstar always put out, produces a pretty damn good meat replacement. Mm. Nothing goes to waste. Alright guys, that's all with tacos and waffle this week. I'll see you next time. Happy Taco Tuesday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, live grande. Be wabo. Well,